this lesson, we're going to talk about ratios. Let's start out by looking at the definition. A ratio is a statement of how two numbers compare. It's a comparison of the size of one number to the size of another number. For instance, we can compare the size of the planets to one another. Wow, just look at Jupiter compared to Earth. That planet is prodigious, or impressively great in size. Yep, another bona fide ACT word to stick in your back pocket. Now, beyond the real-world use of ratios, you'll need to know how to solve them on the ACT. The tricky thing about ratio problems is that they're not always easy to identify. I'm going to start by giving you some keywords to look out for before we get into setting up and solving a problem. The keywords for recognizing ratio problems include scale, each, every, ratio, per, at this pace, and at this rate. For example, you might see if the scale of the model to the car is 5 to 13, or each car weighs about 4,000 pounds. Another example is, what is the ratio of their areas? Or, the car uses three gallons of gas every trip. The car gets the best mileage at 50 miles per hour. Also, at this pace or at this rate indicates a ratio problem. For example, at this pace, how many minutes would it take to drive five miles? So now that we know how to quickly identify ratio problems, let's practice turning ratios into equations that we can solve. The ratio of x to y is 5 to 12. If x is 45, what is the value of y? The answer choices are a, 38, b, 52, c, 60, d, 84, and e, 108. Let's underline the facts. Ratio of x to y is 5 to 12, and x is 45. Also circle y, the value you need to find. The first step is to take the information you've underlined and express it as a ratio. Then you'll create an equation to solve for x. The ratio of x to y can be written as x over y. Is means equals, and 5 to 12 can be written as 5 over 12. Now that we have our equation, we can solve for y using the value we were given for x. The problem tells us x is 45, so let's substitute 45 for x. First, we'll need to cross multiply to get 45 times 12 equals 5y. Then using our calculator, 45 times 12 is 540. So now you have 540 equals 5y. Divide each side by 5, your 5s will cancel each other out. Using our calculator, 540 divided by 5 is 108, so y equals 108, which is choice E. That ACT problem was pretty straightforward. Now, let's apply what we know to a word problem where we have to set up a ratio equation and remember to incorporate units of measurement. If a vehicle is moving at a constant speed of 60 miles per hour, how many miles will it travel in one hour and 20 minutes? Let's underline the facts. Constant speed of 60 miles per hour and one hour and 20 minutes. Circle the keyword, which is miles. Label the answer choices miles to keep in mind that's what we're looking for. Let's set up a ratio using the units of measure given in the problem. So we're going to write 60 miles per hour. We can think of the division line of the fraction as the word per. Now that we have our first ratio, let's use the units of measure to create our equation. We're looking for the number of miles traveled during one hour and 20 minutes. So we'll write our equation, making sure to match up our units of measure. 60 miles per hour equals x miles over one hour and 20 minutes. Since we have miles in the numerator on the left-hand side of the equation, we need miles in the numerator on the right-hand side of the equation. We have miles across from each other in the numerators, but notice that the units of measure in our denominators don't match. Let's use minutes as our unit of measure in the denominator. That's the easiest thing to do. We know that one hour is 60 minutes, so 60 plus 20 is 80 minutes. Now we have an equation that we can solve by cross multiplying. 60 times 80 equals 60x. Drop the units of measure to make things easier. If we divide each side by 60, we find that x equals 80, which is choice C. Now that you know how to identify and solve ratio problems, there's a lot you can do. 
You can figure out how long your road trip will take, understand the difference between planet sizes, and best of all, score some points on the ACT. For now though, just make sure you practice a few of the hundreds of problems available throughout this course.